There, like he said, there's seven, there's seven maidens to rescue, so there's seven dungeons. Fun fact, the seven wise men refers to the seven sages from Ocarina of Time. Ah, okay. That's about as far as I go as a kid. Or as far as you got as a kid. Yeah, same with Jesse. Um, he this would, is where I would stop. Yeah, this is literally where he would stop. So anything here on will be considered new to me. Alright. I mean, it's up to you how much more you want to explore, but we can pretty much start heading to the next dungeon if you want. Yeah. I'm, I was looking at that now. Okay, looks like I can just go straight down. This should be pretty straightforward. Oh, wait a minute. Does this part involve a monkey? Suddenly tree? You're new here, aren't you? Did you come here looking for the power of gold? Well, you're too late. It will obey only the first person who touches it. The man who last claimed the power of gold wished for this world. It reflects his heart. Yes, I came here because of greed for the golden power. And look what happened to me. To restore the golden land, a person worthy of the golden power must defeat the man who created this place. Until that time, I am stuck in this bizarre shape. But what a mischievous thing to leave lying around the power of gold. Triforce. Okay. So, he was probably a pothead, and that's why he became a tree. He looks like a mini version of Wispy Woods. I was gonna say that! He does look like a, a like a mini Wispy Woods. Yes, a monkey? <laughs> yeah, okay, so this... I think I have been in this area before. You have to, like, lead a monkey somewhere to help you get to the, ta to the dungeon. You don't appreciate tedious mandatory minigames. I agree. Uh, the minigames in Final Fantasy X were bad. Were they necessary though? For the um, Celestial Weapons, yes. Oh. Especially the Chocobo minigame. Oh my gosh. I still have nightmares of those, of those seagulls. Uh, like the Parade March in Final Fantasy VII. Ah. Do you remember that? The Parade March. You were talking about when Cloud dresses as a soldier in Junin. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, suddenly, okay, there we go. I'm Kiki the monkey. Kiki, I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me 10 rupees? Donate to the children's fund? Why? What have children ever done for me? Sure. Kiki, ki, good choice. I will accompany you for a while. Kiki, ki. Come on, Kiki. Okay, well, here's the entrance to the dungeon. Kiki, if you give me a hundred rupees, I will open the entrance for you. Kiki, ki. Sure. They really want me to pay? Yeah. Give me your purse! Now! That's my purse! I don't know you! <laughs> Try to open it yourself. Kiki, good choice. Then I get a hundred of your rupees. Kiki, ki. Oh. As a child, I never figured this out that you needed to take the monkey to the dun to the opening of the dungeon. Well, here we go. First dungeon of the dark world. It honestly turned me off from the series and I never came back. Oh wow, Otter. What? Which the part? the mini game from Final Fantasy VII. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, there there are things that can turn you off about playing a game that isn't, like, a permanent thing in the game. It's just something that they're like, okay, uh, we want you to do this so you can move forward. Like the 200 lightning bolt dodging with for Lulu's weapon? <laughs> that, I mean, honestly, that's optional. It's not the, it's not saying in order to progress the story you need to do this. True. Okay, I get, I get, what you get where you guys are coming from then. Like, I think a better example would be the Cloister of Trials for, for oh. 10. Like, to me, that wasn't my thing. I, I did not look forward to doing the, the trials to get to the to the, to the summons. Um, I did not like them. <laughs> oh, Final Fantasy VII as a whole turned them off as, from the series. Okay. Sorry, I misunderstood that, Otter. Um, honestly, <clears throat> like, 
I know I always get told to play Final Fantasy 7, but I feel like it's way overhyped more than... I mean, I probably honestly, can't... Honestly, you can't really say that until you play it. I was going to say that. Everyone's I can't, experience is different. I can't really say that. But I can say it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ruin said, you can totally skip 7. <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't. I didn't know we had so many um, people who felt strongly about seven. Well, I mean, you you might have a point there with the overhype. Hmm. That that's just me personally. How I always felt like I always felt like it was a bit overhyped. Yeah, it was more how Materia made every character interchangeable. Final Fantasy seven and ten overhyped because they're the first Final Fantasies on the respective PS Gen. <laughs> I mean, yes that's and no. A good point. Um, okay, I'm just going to try this. Ah. Maybe the left one. Sometimes you have to push them from a certain side. Mm -hmm. Try that one. There you go. They made good use of the technology. They were good at selling consoles because they were shiny and pretty. <laughs> but I like Final Fantasy X. I will say though, the clo the cloister trials were were not fun. I'm gonna take this ball and put it in a pedestal, and then have to take it with me and put it on another pedestal. And then to be honest, um, Blitzball is optional, but I swear, I would, I would skip it. I would skip it every time. <clears throat> then there's Final Fantasy XIII. Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> I just always hated Ashley. Final Fantasy XIII was devoted wholly on looking good. It was a horrible game otherwise. <laughs> <clears throat> um, so I remember playing Final Fantasy XIII, and I remember just being completely, um, lost. <clears throat> not, not like, gameplay-wise, because it was very linear, you would just walk from point A to point B, but story-wise, because they kept using terms like Lissy and Felsy, and I kept having to look at the glossary the in-game glossary of the game because I'm just like, okay, they keep throwing these words at me and I have no idea what they mean. Hmm, let's fall down. That was my big gripe with 13. Okay, that did nothing. Bomb south wall. Oh, yeah, I did that. Right. Okay. You honestly still want to play Final Fantasy 13? I, I think it's at least uh, worth one playthrough, if anything, you know? It's not like terrible it's just it gets confusing and then you throw in the sequels with the time traveling and it's just like uh, this story didn't have to go on this long it really didn't it could have er it could have ended at the original 13 honestly no it is terrible <laughs> Okay, what's your opinion on 15? Because 15 was kind of like the, 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 pretty much the first console for, or the first Final Fantasy for PS4. You were to pick one Final Fantasy game to not play out of all of them, 13 is the one to skip. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. I will say a guilty pleasure is Lightning Returns. I, I did, like, um, one that was, like, centered towards helping people in quests. It was, like, the Majora's Mask of the Final Fantasy games, I feel like. It was a niche game um, that didn't need to come out. <laughs> 15 is meh and bad at launch, but yeah. It did get better, but yeah, it, like, uh, the story... Of 15 gets really like weird towards the end like you can tell they rushed the ending part
And I just feel like the ending should have had a bigger impact than it did. Oh. And I wasn't a big fan of go of the side quests of going from point A to point B. And I kind of got tired of traveling in the car after a while. I'm like, okay, like... Um, I think you need the hammer for those, and I'm yeah. pretty sure we get that in this dungeon. Well, that'd be cool if they did. <laughs> I guess that's all I can do here. If you want a good storyline, play Final Fantasy 4, 6, 9, 11, 12, 14. Hmm. Hmm. And 10. <laughs> And eight. But I keep... Oh, oh yeah, you did skip eight. <laughs> Eight's my baby. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Wait, I should really try to get hearts. Yeah, Jesse, Jesse's favorite Final Fantasy is eight. And mine is ten, so I'm just like, eh, stop attacking. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Every, everyone's um got their opinions, you know, but... Yeah, I do. I do agree with you guys on seven, though. Even though I haven't played it personally, I do feel like it's a bit overhyped. Oh! oh. Twist, eh? Yay. On, season, season six. Let's, let's get, get sickening. sickening. Yeah. Sir Lefty, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Bear Pair Gaming. Let me get you guys some bear hugs here. Oh boy. Welcome, everybody. So... You have caught us playing um, A Link to the Past, Legend of Zelda. Um, this is <laughs> my quote first yes! first playthrough. Come on! Gengarit, thank you so much for the follow. I love the name. <laughs> Some bear hugs for you guys and for the raid. Thank you so much. Um, first time chat. Hello, I love pears and bears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, enter chaotic stage lefty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, welcome in everybody. Um, so this is, so I'm Danny, and this is my partner Jesse. Hello. We've been together and gaming together for over ten years. So if it's your first time at Bear Pair Gaming, we are a variety streamer. We play co-op games, but we also do our classic retro days, which is usually on Thursdays. So our Throwback Thursdays. And today we're playing um, Link to the Past because Jesse never beat this game. <laughs> And I'm a big Zelda fan, so I was like, we, we played Super Mario RPG before this. You need to play this game. <laughs> oh, I remember when I beat A Link to the Past. Garrett is all about chaos. <laughs> Never? It's good. Yeah, he always oh. got to the Dark World and stopped. As a, ch like, as a child playing this game. Uh, let me get you a shout out going, Sir Lefty. Yeah, so this is my first time in this dungeon. I have no idea how to solve the puzzles right away. Um, oh. What game is that? Is that Diablo? No. Hades? Oh, yeah, that's Hades. Oh my gosh, dude. It's Yo, so there's so many, many places we can use those if lines. If only people knew. All right. If you guys aren't following Sir Lefty, go give him a follow. They were so gracious to share their community with us, so thank you very much for that. And you were, last, fun. you were last playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Ooh, it's funny because we were just talking about Final Fantasy VII. So it might get a little heated in here. <laughs> yeah, of course, no problem. The Ice Palace is what did it for me when I was young. Ooh, yeah. Let's see when Jesse gets to that part. Okay, so that's, that's a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> This game is too hard for me now, but as a kid. Oh, come on. I'm, I, oh, isn't too hard for yeah. you now. Gotcha. Well, I'm dead. Oh, no. It's I, okay. I felt too much. You got a fairy. With the power of gay, we bring you back to life. She didn't fully heal me? Yeah, the fairies in this game don't fully heal you. <laughs> 
Uh, you're gonna make food and end my laundry, so have a nice day, everyone. All right, Gengaria, thank you so much. Sorry, I saw the message a little late. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, and thank you for the follow. Yeah. Really appreciate it. But um, yeah, if it's your first time here, guys, we usually do co-op games. We show each other games we grew up with that maybe the other hasn't played. Um, a lot of games we regularly like to play on the channel are Pokemon, like Pokemon Unite. Um, we love to shiny hunt on Arceus. Uh, we play a lot of Smash, Splatoon, Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. We just we finished playing Kirby. Uh, oh yeah. We still have post game though. Yeah, we're we're gonna be finishing up the post game of Kirby on Sunday, hopefully. We've got to make some food as well, but I'll be lurking. Okay, Lefty, thank you so much. And what are you gonna have? What do you what are you guys having for foods? There's gotta be a switch here. In go. Insert the switch snap. <laughs> oh, it has to stay. Huh. Um. Hmm. You love doing randomizers? Yeah, we should do a randomizer sometime. <laughs> I'm sure they get crazy. Uh, the remake may as well be a new game though, right? Honestly, yes. It, yeah. It, it is pretty much a new game from what Jesse told me. Ah, I see. Not just for decoration. <laughs> Ruin, you're not a fan of the Kingdom Hearts Final Fantasy 15 style of combat or the massive plot changes in Final Fantasy 7 Remake. <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti. Ooh, spaghetti, yes. I have not had spaghetti in a while. That sounds good, actually. Maybe this weekend we'll make some spaghetti. You know that Kirby post-game isn't post-game at all, but the second half of the game. <laughs> well, I mean, technically it's considered post-game, but yeah, I, I get what you mean, Ruin. Personally, I feel like Final Fantasy VII Remake is just a big cash grab, which is why they're releasing it in episodes. I hate when game companies release stuff in episodes. Like, I hate that they did that with uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2. Um, we ended up playing it when the whole thing was complete. I would have played the Final Fantasy VII Remake if they had released the whole thing at once. I'm just kind of winging it right now. <laughs> I hope <laughs> I mean, I'm going the right way. Yeah, it seems like you're doing good. i seen some treasure chests um, that I probably can't get to yet. How many hours of gameplay are the Remake episodes so far? Um... Well, there's only one episode, which is a full game. I think it was it's like a full game's worth of content. So I'd say like 70 plus hours, I think. I think the game wants me to have the hammer by now. E looks like it. Uh... So yeah, we're in the first dungeon of the Dark World currently. Uh, shit. Um... Hit the statue with your arrow? That That's what opened this up. Oh, okay. Um, um, no, they, they can't get you stuck like that. Oh! Hmm. Can I shoot through the that's wall? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Try it? No. <laughs> uh, shoot. Let me go back. If anything, I can use the mirror, but... Shrug, hard to measure the quality of the game even based on hours. Yeah, that's very much true. I've played a lot of really good games that are very short. Um, maybe your boomerang can hit that? No. Uh, shoot. Okay, um, a bomb? Hmm. Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> okay, um... Ah. Yeah, you can't really throw it at an angle. No. 
Oh, this needs the hammer. A lot of games are long for the sake of being long. Yeah, we need the hammer, but I've, we can't. I've uh, found myself um, Did we... in a spot where the hammer's needed, but I don't have it yet. But I still like got here. I guess use the mirror. <clears throat> That's weird. I don't remember you being able to get stuck like that. <clears throat> okay, well... That's what happens when you wing it. You or, find yourself in a spot you weren't ready for. Or the arrows, but we couldn't shoot through the wall, though. Statues with eyeballs are sometimes... Yeah, he shot that yeah. and, the, and the wall moved. They weren't soft locked. Yeah, thankfully we had a mirror. You're doing pretty good so far, though. You haven't really needed my help. Also, was that wall explodable? Um, so, I blew this up, and it just made a pit, and it just took me back over here to this side. Okay, but it wasn't the, anything. And the wall didn't blow up at all, either? Um, I'll do it again to make sure. Yeah, just... Ah, you're right. Okay. Have you been in here before? Yes. That's weird. I'm pretty sure that used to hurt them. It does. It's just... It wasn't a good Oh, okay. Ooh, red and arrow to the back. <laughs> it's soft Zoblock. <laughs> From Zoblock. <laughs> uh, I was hoping just to go through here. Okay. Oh, yes, this part. Okay, so... I feel like we definitely should have the hammer by now. Um... What about these walls? They look breakable. And they're giving you bombs for a reason. There we go. Okay, yeah, I did not see those. There's two, okay. Cool. Ah, so that explains that. <laughs> Otter, if we're gonna drag Final Fantasy games, oh no. <laughs> the library is open. Drag her. The jellyfish. Pixel Mog, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to our Bear Pear family. Ooh. Any guys who are new to the channel in the chat, let us know um, what some of your favorite games are. You caught a fairy. Will you? What will you do? I will. I will grind it up into pixie dust <laughs> and snort it. <laughs> okay. Um, try a bomb on that. Okay. But what did that do? Maybe now when you go down that ladder, those those switches will be switched. Remember? So go down. So those two rooms had nothing else in them, right? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. I can't... <laughs> I can't unread the description of Final Fantasy X as a woman's tragic journey told through the lens of an interesting white guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> that was kind of my problem with Final Fantasy XII, is that the main story is told through the eyes of Vaughn. Who is completely, like, not important to the story at all. Like, is just, like, random kid with 
weird looking abs. <laughs> oh, I hate Vaughn. <laughs> Yeah, I never really saw him as the main character. I, I, isn't it like kind of shared between them all? I feel like Ash and Balthier are more the main characters than Vaughn is. Okay, so once again, I'm just kind of winging it. Uh, head into that room up there. Is there a chest around here? I think. I feel like this room would have the, um, the item that we need. Push it. There you go. Okay. It might be that one. Yeah, it might be. Okay, okay there's... That solves that one. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, there there was stuff that you haven't explored yet. I haven't been up here yet. Oh, no, I don't want to be down there with all that. <laughs> okay, well. Um... Damn. I got one of them. <laughs> Oh, they got stunned. Stunning. Oh, okay. Don't push me. Take that. Okay, yeah, so I need to get up there. Oh! 45 minutes is up. Alright, time to put me shirt back on. I'll be right back, you guys. I, blew, I haven't blown this bridge up yet. I don't know if that'll do anything. Come on, bridge. Instead of building bridges, we're blowing them up. Okay, it did take me somewhere. We're in the basement. Are we hiding the dead body in the basement? Okay, there's a lock. There's a locked door, and then I can jump down there. Let's go with the locked door, which just takes me back up. Okay. Final Fantasy XII was very Star Wars-y. Yes, I always got that kind of vibe from it. Okay, the boss key. Wait, how do we have the boss key but not the hammer? This babe just falling into pits. Well, I mean, okay, it, it would have led me here anyway. Is there a way to kill those? Oh. Um, with the hammer, I think you'd flip them. Oh, I see. Ooh. Chewbacca was a sexy bunny lady, though. <laughs> yeah, very, very, like, Star Wars stereotypes. Like, Bothier was obviously um, his partner from Star Wars, uh, Han Solo. Don't you know that if Jesse has, sees a hole, he wants to go inside it? <laughs> like a good top. You <laughs> said that. I knew that was fluffy. Fluffy, of course. I mean, no comment if, if it's nice. His partner, wink. <laughs> uh, I'm back here. Check your map. Do you, oh, you don't have the compass yet? Or the map? No. I'm telling you, there's a lot of gaps that I'm... Um, that isn't like right in front of me. No, I think I do remember you picking up the map. The roommates. <laughs> yes, his his bunny roommate. So I need to hit a switch and then come back through this way. So yeah. I can go up here. You can hit oh, that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> You didn't see it? No, I didn't. And it might be elevated. Let's see. You can go through the middle and hit it, maybe? Hmm. Get 
back, I say. <laughs> Move, I'm gay. Alright, so throw a bomb over there, maybe? Because, see, you're going to be stuck. Well, I mean, I can retreat. I can go this way. Oh, okay. Perfect. I'm glad the bridges fix themselves. <laughs> <laughs> They're self-sufficient bridges. Bridges. Okay. There we go. Well, let's go with this one. I should have all the keys. <laughs> Whoa, oh! Oh yeah, you gotta dash through that. Okay. Alright, couple of rooms here. Um, I guess let's go to the locked one. I've been I've been just opening locks. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I don't know what I killed, but I killed something. Right. I'm glad that I forced myself to play Final Fantasy II Pixel Remaster because I'll Although that game has a horrible leveling system, it's impressive for an NES game. Uh, so honestly, I have never played Final Fantasy 2. Um, out of all the Final Fantasies, that's the one I, I did miss out on. Um, that's because the US didn't get that one, right? We got like Final Fantasy 3 or 5 instead or something? We eventually got it. It's just I, I didn't really have it interest in going back and trying to get it and so it's on steam right now yeah yeah the pixel remasters one through six are all available on steam now try to make myself play the gba version so many times <laughs> what was that key oh okay all the final fantasy games are on steam Ooh, yeah two three and five didn't come to us right away okay yeah there was some weird things going on with the American Final Fantasy like early games maybe that's what turned me off about it because when I would read stuff like oh this isn't the real Final Fantasy 2 it's it's like actually Final Fantasy 4 or whatever Hello? that would turn hey, me off a bit I'm like, Navi makes a guest uh, appearance. Ruin said, go back, you missed a cracked wall. I had a feeling. I'm like, there's a little more to this room, I know it. <laughs> That's why he tried getting your attention. <laughs> oh. Well, let's take a look here. Ruin being our Navi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there yes. it is. You always miss the cracked walls. What's up with that? They're they're kind of subtle in in this game. <laughs> Barking otter, that's an effective there redemption. There's the magic hammer. It's Mionia. Now we are Thor. <laughs> it doesn't look very magical. It looks like the same hammer from Wrecking Crew. Guess they're not all they're cracked up to be. Wah wah. You know it, what I have to say to that? They do look like question mark groupies, huh? <laughs> They do. You know what we're talking about? Question mark rupees? The 777. Seven, seven. They almost square question oh, marks. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's for the dad joke, Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy throwing dad jokes in the chat. <laughs> Ruin. <laughs> All right. Looks like we got the grand prize, so let's go this way. Maybe not such a good top after all. <gasps> what? What? What did he miss now? Oh, hey, radio. <laughs> Navi is putting in work sure today. Sure is boring around here. <laughs> I just wonder what Ganon's up to. <laughs> Link has a boner for Ganon. That's all he cares about. Is Ganon the wizard in this game? No, they're they're different. Mm. Okay, you got the compass last. That's so weird. <laughs> yes, Link thirsting for Ganon. <laughs> he can't be bothered with dungeoning right now and exploring. He's just like, I just wonder what Ganon's up to. 
Hey, I like gingers too. <laughs> yeah, come on, Daddy Ganondorf. Oh. Imagine Ganondorf eating ass with that nose. Like, it's just like, oh my. And that beard. <laughs> Damn. You got the pie. <laughs> Anyone, you're such a pig, Ganon. <laughs> pig <laughs> daddy. <laughs> okay, let's see where this goes. No, it doesn't go anywhere. All right. Look at your map, see what you haven't explored yet. Daddy, no! <laughs> daddy, yes! <laughs> Thank you, Barking daddy, Otter. No! Oh, double. Oh. Daddy, <laughs> you guys have the same Both thing of in you mind. guys had the same idea. <laughs> That was perfect. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was perfect, you guys. Oh, I love our chat. <laughs> okay, so you, you've been in that room, but for some reason you couldn't go to the left. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to be in B1 ultimately. Did I get everything then? Yeah, because you would have little like chest icons in the in the rooms if you hadn't. Okay. So I want to find a way to get to B1. <laughs> that was way too hilarious, though. Is this a wall? No. Try ramming it. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. It's so weird because those look like cracked walls, too. I don't know. There's like deceiving cracked walls. I always thought Ganon was the bottom. <laughs> it burns! I should make that another redemption for CDI. Okay, I think I'm in the right place. That's a lot of rupees. <laughs> Jesse's like, girl! And Link was the top. <laughs> The merchant or the wizard. <laughs> There's so many good moments in the CDI, like so many cringe-worthy but like funny moments. Both are CDI redemption ideas. Hmm, bombs. <laughs> which which wizard though? Oh oh oh. Or just the king? Yeah, I should have one of the king, honestly. That's what I was telling him. Yeah, the king. Okay. There was specifically this moment where I think it was from Wand of Gamelon where Zelda swipes at a bat and she's like, I got it, but she completely missed. She didn't even make contact with the bat. It was just hilarious. Do you think you know where you have to go? I think so. Remember that spot where I got lost or where I got stuck? I think now that I've, I have the hammer, I could do it. Oh, I know the the staircase. I know what you mean. Yes, that would make sense because that's the room you couldn't do much in. For a first dungeon in the dark world, this is pretty this one's pretty tough. The game's like we're not playing around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see you didn't have any puzzles like that in the first three dungeons where you had to move a statue that much. Mm -hmm. The real reason we don't have a playable Zelda in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Wanda Gamelon probably killed that forever. I I wish we would get a playable Zelda though. Besides like in Hyrule Warriors and um uh I can't Cala uh no, not Calamity. Um What was the Hyrule Warriors version of Breath of the Wild? I'm trying to remember. Age of Calamity. There you go. Which I never completed. We need to go back and do that. Because we beat the main story, but we didn't get everything. And I didn't even b purchase the DLC. So eventually I want to get to that. back to that game. Probably just make it like a Friday drinking game, if anything. But I mean, would you guys be interested in seeing um, Age of Calamity on stream? I know it's like a few years later than it when it came out.
All right, and you have the key for it. I think we're in good shape. Oh, oh. How are you liking the hammer? Eh, it's whatever. It doesn't <laughs> do damage. Oh, yes, it does. Never mind. <laughs> you were saying you're here for it? Okay. Oh, all right, guys. Sounds like you like that idea. Yeah, we can casually do like side missions and stuff. Like we, we do want to do like um like post game stuff and extra stuff. It's mm -hmm. just that there there is a lot of games that we could um, bring to the channel right now. Like we have so many good ideas. Uh, it's just like the the time to get them on stream with you guys. Yeah, like um I've had the so I've. I've been playing like the um, the new trilogy of Tomb Raider over the like last six or seven years, and I haven't played the final one, which was what Shadow of the Tomb Raider or, or Rise of the Tomb Raider, and I've had it sitting on my PS4 for a while, just haven't gotten it to it yet, and then I also have God of War, the remake or not the remake, but the the newer one. And uh, Horizon Zero Dawn that I literally have not opened. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, mm, do I really want to play those on stream, though? That's the thing. Ooh. Like, I'd rather play a game I can play with Jesse. We want to play It Takes Two and yes. uh, Moving Out. Mm -hmm. and, um, Didn't you download Little Moving Nightmares? Out? Little Nightmares. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of cooperative games. Um, Shredder's Revenge. That's Ooh, coming out okay. Soon. Uh, what is there like a? Do you want me to tell you, only? or do you want to figure it out? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the tail, or no. I guess um, I'll give it a try. Well, just remember the Zelda trope where they always want you to use the new item on the boss. <laughs> Why isn't it hammering? <laughs> Oh, okay, I am hitting. The... You see it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you hear the little noise? That means you're hitting. Check out Venture, I think it's called. Ooh, is that another, like, co-op game? Ooh, that got me. But yeah, once I get my, like, first checks rolling out, I'm going to pick up It Takes Two because I keep hearing really good things about it. And then, of course, we, I was talking to you about this ruin. Um, Want to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as well. Oh, okay, she's exposed. I think now you can use your sword. What if I use my earth medallion? Or does it work does it work on bosses? Um It should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. No, I guess <laughs> not. <laughs> uh Ruin says it's a one or two player game where you play a pair of lovers in an RPG. Ooh. Oh no, and we're dead. <laughs> it's okay. We've got a fairy. She sprinkles pixie dust on your ass. He's like, hmm, here. It's Willow Pillow you homo. fairy. <laughs> it's it's a whale fairy. Ooh. Yeah, the bosses in the dark world do a lot more damage. We're gonna need to find armor. I think you can find armor upgrades for Link in this game. There you go. It sounds like he has an upset stomach. So I can see why you stopped at the Dark World because this dungeon was pretty tough. Like, as a kid, it would probably be t t too tough. That didn't fully heal you? What no. the heck? This game is cheap when it comes to healing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dungeon complete and boss defeated. Sorry, it's called Haven. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's a cute emote. 
first maiden has been rescued. Jizz! Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters! Thank you! This world used to be the Golden Land where the Triforce was hidden. But because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it, the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He has tried to open a larger gate between worlds near the castle using our powers. But the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe I, I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? Not at all. No. <laughs> May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Also, she she stole Zelda's lullaby. She's not Zelda. She can't have it. <laughs> Thank <music> you.